my opinion about equal price money between men and women is that it's a natural um, evolution of uh, life and we should have equal price money a long time ago and me and Ibaya and our club are really proud that we are the first ones to to have equal price money in Gran Canaria and we hope to be a reference uh, for the next organizers to, to have equal price money uh, for the rest of the life. Thank you. So, that we have done uh, something really important for the sport and it's a dream come through, especially here in our event. We've been 21 years competing and this is the first time this ever happens. I think it's a historical moment in, in the sport of windsurfing. Um, I think it's also very important that uh, both Daid and Ibaya worked hard towards this goal. Um, I think that you know both both men and both women we, we all put a lot of effort into into this sport like we train as hard off the off the water and on the water so I think um, we deserve it as well and yeah I'm just I'm just very happy about it because it's a big step forward for for women and for women in windsurfing. So. So I think it's really good that we have equal prize money here because we train just as much as the guys and I think the girls here show such a good level that it's really good to see equal prize money and it really motivates us to train even harder. Yeah, I think it's really important to keep uh, the windsurfing woman alive, otherwise it, it's every year it's more difficult for us to do it professionally. So I, I think it's a good, uh, a big step to to keep pushing this sport, uh, uh, even though it's difficult with the sponsors and everything, but this is a good, uh, a good way to to show that we can do it as well and to keep doing professionally and not just for fun. So I think it's really important. Yeah, I think it's a really big step for uh, women windsurfing, and I hope it's a good start to make it even bigger. I think it's uh, we have a good year with the first ever women-only events, and now equal prize money and um, I hope it will help uh, grow the sport for women. Oh, I think it's about time. <laughs> no, I think it's great, uh, especially because there's so much less support within, at least within the windsurfing industry itself for the girls, so it's much harder to compete. So I think this will open the doors for a lot of girls and we can see it here, we have uh, like the record amount of girls competing um, and it just helps that little bit, you know, and I think it's a historic moment if you ask me. I actually emailed uh, Daida and Ibaya when I found out that I know that they worked hard on it for a long time and it's a chicken and egg situation, you know, a lot of people are arguing whether it should be so because there's less women but unless we have it we won't have more women and we've seen that in slalom over the years and so on so I think it's great, happy. Well I think it's a very good initiative and um, you know like Lately, there are a lot of people saying that actually everything is achieved already uh, in the field of equality of rights of both genders. But uh, we've had the speech of Daida and I think there, there are a lot of things to do and uh, this is a very good initiative from Gran Canaria, from Moreno Twins, from PWA, from the government and everybody should follow it. I think it's more difficult uh, for the girls in general to be in this sport um, for the sponsorship, for the traveling, also for physically for competing because the conditions are very tough and we are lighter and we are not that strong as men. So it is very important that uh, at least our support uh, is recognized, our, uh, sorry, uh, at least our effort is recognized and we have like the same prize money and the same opportunities as men do.